Hello everyone, my name is Tyler, and this week on Unity Particle System Tutorials we will be talking about how to animate your textures using texture sheet animation and how to include those in your particle systems. Uh, the default starting system for this week is the default particle system. The only thing that I've changed about it is I've changed the start size to be 3 instead of 1 so we can see the particles a little bit more clearly. Um, the major thing that I've done is I've created a new material called Animated Texture. You can call it whatever you want. Um, but that's what I named mine, uh, and then I downloaded a texture sheet from the Unity Wiki page. I'll provide the link in the video description um, to use as a texture. So as you can see here, it's just the same uh, kind of face, and then at the end of the texture sheet, there's a little blinky face. And this is what a texture sheet look, looks like. It's kind of the same sprite again and again and again, and uh, in between each uh, frame, that there's uh, kind of an implied movement. Uh, right here, the only thing that's different is the last frame for each uh, kind of sheet. But each row is meant to be like an animation for a character or something. They were used quite a lot um, in 2D games as their kind of animation tool. They would draw the frames for each character um, and then kind of lay them out all on a row. And then the computer would basically just load um, each texture, each kind of individual uh, texture, and then play them very rapidly to look like it was animating. And you can do the same thing. Uh, for particles because they use 2D textures. So it's very similar to 2D animation in games, but I downloaded that and I'll provide the link in the video description back to the material. We just use that as our texture and then change the shader to particles additive. So with that introduction out of the way, let's begin. Uh, so I already explained what um, kind of texture sheets are, so let's uh, use them for our game. So first off, we're going to go to the material. Easy enough, and it looks kind of crazy right now because we're loading the entire texture at once instead of parts of the texture. So let's turn texture sheet animation on, and already um, you can see a big difference that the eyes are kind of blinking, uh, and you can see that the textures are actually looking proper now. And that's because um, I've told the texture sheet animator that there's um, four rows and then four columns um, in our texture sheet. As you can see here, there's four rows and four columns. This knows this is so that Unity knows where to grab each texture from in the image. Let's go back to the particle system. Um, and you can see uh, here that it's, it's working. The eyes are blinking and the, the texture is animating. So that's pretty nifty. Um, you can do a couple other interesting things with it. Um, right now, we're animating the whole sheet where um, it'll, Unity will kind of just go through row by row um, your entire texture. Um, what you can also do is to have Unity just um, do a single row by just clicking this and then setting single row. And then that will um, randomly pick a row to animate from and then animate through that row. So you can see it's either doing green ones, red ones, blue ones, or yellow ones instead of all of them together. And you can see them blinking at the end there so you know that it's working. <sighs> Excuse me. Um, another thing that you can do is you can have it just take the first row and then um, if you turn off random row that is exactly what Unity will do. So now it's only animating the red top one. So let's go back to whole sheet. Um, another thing that you can do is have, um, you can specify how Unity does, progresses through, how quickly Unity progresses through the actual texture sheet. So right now we just have it in a linear fashion, but we can uh, change it if we wanted to, and then kind of have it uh, go to the end actually uh, more quickly, but we don't really need to do that, so I'll just change it back. Um, but it's there if you want to do it. And it's, it has the same curve system as all the other Unity particle things, so you can just select which ones you want there. So I'll we'll just go out of that. And lastly, you can tell Unity how many times you want it to go through the entire uh, texture sheet. If you do more cycles, the texture sheet will go quite quickly, and it looks kind of sporadic and uh, very quick. Um, right now, I'll just have it set to 1. Um, that's about all the things that you can do. Oh, and also, um, you can specify which row you want um, the texture to be pulled from, so we can do row 1, 2, and 3. And this is similar to kind of an array system in programming, if you've ever heard of that, where it starts at 0 and then um, it goes through 0, 1, 2, 3, however many rows and columns you have. So, um, but that's about it for texture animation. It really just depends on what kind of te uh, texture sheet you have. They're pretty difficult to make. Um, but if you're good enough to make them, they can make your particle effects look really cool because you can give extra kind of behaviors and movement 
um, for your particles through through texture sheet animations like you can make your smoke look more liquidy or fluid and you can do the same thing for the fire as well um, so there's a bunch of different things you can do with texture sheets um, they're pretty hard to make I personally can't really make them but um, if you have them lying around or if you are really awesome and you know how to make them um, this is how you can use them for unity particles so I hope you learned something if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments and I'll answer them to the best of my ability um, but that's about it for this tutorial I hope to see you all next week in the next video thanks